What's good? It's your boy Sheen. This and Bird. And we are jumping back into Breaking Bad. Season 4 has been amazing so far. Tons of stuff going on. You got Skylar going out doing whatever she doing. Trying to buy the car wash. Which, you know, I wouldn't say it caused a problem. But the guy set a very high price for Walt. And then we have Walt. He got a gun with the serial number scratched off. So if he gets caught with that. That's a felony charge right there, boy. So he has to, you know, keep that tucked away. And he also had a plan to try and get rid of Gus. But of course that failed. And then we had Jesse going through whatever he's going through with all that partying and stuff after he did what he did to Gail. But we should get a great episode this one. Make sure you guys click that link in the description for our Patreon. We got tons of content over there. We got Patreon exclusives that aren't coming to YouTube. And... Like I said before and other reactions, if YouTube, if you got it, just know Patreon got it first, man. We weeks ahead over there. So click that link, head over there, and stop missing out. Without further ado, let's jump back into our Breaking Bad. Let's get it. Yeah, that boy Mike punched his eye out. Ah! Boy, our camera on him? He's done. Son of a... He got a motion sensor camera. That drone gonna be following that boy everywhere he go. Be yeah, every move, boy. Yeah. Like, Walt's lucky he's still alive, bro. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Leave me alone. Oh, bro, she's annoying. Ah! I can hear your cell phone ringing! Uh, what is going on with you? I've left you like 23 messages. And? You know, Skylar, now is not a good time for me, okay? Can we talk about this later? No. Okay? We can't. Are you doing. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm coming in. You not my shorty. Oh. Nah, I feel it though, but I don't, but I do. Exactly what happened? It's complicated and I don't wish to discuss it. It's none of your concern. Are you in danger? I need you to look me in the eye and tell me right now, are you in danger? You know what? I have a hell of a lot more on my mind than thinking about buying a damn car wash. Then we go to the police. Oh, there you go. You tell them everything, that you're a drug dealer, afraid for your safety what? and, and whoa, the safety whoa, of your family, whoa, whoa, and you need, whoa, you need help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You keep saying that word, danger. Danger. Yeah, but you no, just and I have never that... used that word. I said things were complicated. Where'd that come from, hmm? A fall in the shower? Uh, I had an argument with a co-worker, okay? Oh, you don't need to know everything, man. And it got heated and out of control, and he hit me once. And I didn't retaliate because he's a much older man. You were in a bar fight. Yes, Skylar, I was in a bar fight. May have been a good thing, actually, because we were able to clear the air and, you know, mutual respect. And... Frozen peas. Get rid of the bruise faster. The the swelling. I don't even have ice. What about not in I will get peas. I will get ice. Peas and ice. I'm writing it down. Promise me that if things do get dangerous, Skylar. Promise me. Absolutely. Car wash. Fuck is main man. Hi there. Can I answer any questions? Any chance of a top off? I think we can help you out there. You got a new career? I think so. Oh, very nice. Very open. Oh, I agree. It flows. Mm. Whole lot of natural light. What do you use Walt's bread for this? No. Tori Costner. It's nice to meet you. She gave a different well, name. Well, three bedrooms, one and a half baths on just under half an acre. I, uh, I, I see you're married. No, divorced. Very recent. Any children? Yes. Uh, he turned four in May. He's a Gemini. Would love this yard. Have to get her patience at ease. Ain't. If you know what I mean. Yo. Yeah. 
Still watching that Girls Gone Wild. Hey! Yeah! Mess shit up! You look crazy. To three different places to get the moisturizer that you like, but I got that. I got your Shiner Buck and your chips and I couldn't resist Encyclopedia to Fantasy Football. Look, it has all the latest Maria, I rankings. said Cheetos, not Fritos. I must have said Cheetos like 10 times. Don't need you to be mean about it either, Mr. Grumpy. Well, I'm just saying. Where are you going? I, back to the store, I guess. Being an asshole. That's how I was about to write down. Now, if she leave your stupid stank ass, then what? 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 This. Oh, you always thought this place could be bugged. Oh, no. I don't like it. It's a violation of the workspace. Like, what? Shut the hell up. Do something. Like what? We're so uh, negative minded. Go karts. Why not? Yeah, there's a track down by the. Coliseum. He's scratching this shit. Actually, I have some kind of a meeting. So. Yeah, he looked like he a fiend again. How you doing? Good. Yeah? You okay? He's scratching, jittery, and he keeps sniffing. Anything we should talk about? How's your eye? Yeah, it's... But deflecting. We should talk about. Get him with the same shit. Ha! For what it's worth, getting the shit kicked out of you. Not to say you, uh, you get used to it, but you do kind of get used to it. Yeah, that's gonna happen to Jesse a couple times. No, I ain't really did my man then, uh. Two words, nail salon. It's a high volume, cash preferred business with a discreet workforce. I mean, nobody does Mr. Mino nothing better than Mrs. Mukjayaporn and her gals. Mr. Goodman. Saul, please. How about a lifetime supply of French manicures and enzyme peels? Oh, yeah, go ahead, pinch yourself. We're not buying a nail salon, Mr. Goodman. We're getting the car wash. Am I missing something here? I mean, uh, didn't you already try that? You took a run at this Bogdan character and he wrestled you into submission with his eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Upped it to 20. Wow, nice negotiating. You just sit back, relax, and let a professional take over. Can you use your bathroom? Top of the stairs. He'll be quick. Big bye. Oh, my man about to break the toilet. I'm about to shit. Nah, I should about to be quick. This is about to be water. So if the guy won't sell, he won't sell. I don't accept that he won't sell. I, I think he just lacks the proper motivation. 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 I mean, just so we're on the same page here, you're saying we make him an offer he can't refuse? Attitude adjustment. <laughs> you losing me. We don't want them looking at us after Bogdan sells. How about an IC raid? You know he's got illegals working over there. I mean, he just has to. We are not getting a bunch of poor, innocent people in trouble. Hey, how about terrorism? Saul, so, Bogdan is Romanian. <sighs> Look, there's always... You got a real nice place here. Shame if something happened to it. That angle. <laughs> He's so funny. Attitude adjustment. Oh no, that, no. That is not at all what I- I'm like, bro. That's not who we are, okay. right? Yeah, no, no, no. What? That is- I oh, ran down on a couple people now. I mean, there's gotta be dozens of car washes in this area. Who says it has to be this one? I do. I say it has to, I just do. Bro, you don't have the final say in this. Hey, right, bro. Hey, Walt. Pull your fucking pants up. I don't up. like him. Mm. Bogdan. He was condescending to me, rude about you, and I do not like him. Okay. In this business, and Walt can back me up on this, the uh, number one rule is don't take things personally. What do you What do you mean, rude about me? What ego, bro? You weren't man enough to face him yourself. What? That you had to send your woman to do your business for you. <laughs> oh, they're so annoying, man. No, no, I advise one. against... It's this one. Well. All we have to do is think of a non-violent, unsuspicious way to purchase the car wash that, that protects the innocent and doesn't cost $20 million. Don't everybody speak at once. 
This shit probably clogged up there. He had that. You can't even take your full steps. I gotta take the shit walk. Can I answer any questions? What oh. is she doing? Spoons. <laughs> yes, the owner is quite the collector. No basement. No basement. Sorry. That's a problem. My brother's in the Peace Corps and won't be back for 18 months. I said I'd hang on to his furniture. I'm Stephanie Doswell, by the way. Charlotte Blattner. So nice to meet you, Charlotte. You too. But you're 53 years old. This job has just gotten too. Oh my gosh, she's stealing shit. Any children? No. I don't really want kids. Up on those spoons. Yeah. Finish down our name. The boy ain't there by himself. I actually feel real bad for Jesse. That wasn't all he wanted to do, but he had to do. I don't know what that boy can do to get his mind off of it, but. Go kill somebody else. Nah, that's not gonna, that's gonna make it worse. He still got people partying in his crib. I seen the lights. That boy not sleeping either. He got the bags under his eyes. That man still took my, my shit. Hold on, I fucking like what. Oh nah, I gotta get the fuck out now. They drawing on this. Yo, this house is a crack house. A panda. That pizza box was still there. That's what's going on in his head though. Yeah. He will get the house taken from him. He own it. But well, you can still get the house taken from you though. That's if he's not paying his property taxes or nothing, but I really love your home. Oh, well thank you, Mimi. It has a... He's gonna run into that lady again. Yeah. I, I was stationed at Upwood in the 60s. Right downtown. But we were almost never there. My husband is an <sighs> illustrator. Oh my gosh. Pulled up right on her. It was easy to pick up and go. That was before my youngest, Lucy, was diagnosed with endocarditis. She said she didn't want kids. Is, is that... Uh... It's a bacterial infection of the heart valves. It's... Is she all right? Your daughter, Lucy's fine. Running and walking, riding horses. <laughs> and she good at lying now. She got right out of there. Excuse me, man. I just called the police. Okay then. I know you stole that spoon. What spoon? What are you talking about? You're a thief and a liar, making stories up about yourself. What's wrong Everybody with you? No, what's out. the matter with you, lady? My husband is a DEA agent. You better get your crazy lies straight. You know what, fatty? You are so lucky that I am late for an appointment. You're not going anywhere. Let go of my purse. Not let it go! Let it go! You gotta hit let me. it go! Oh, shit, she stole. You are in big trouble. Wow, she in, she at jail. We can't even go pick her up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just slow, hey, slow down, start from the... You, why the... F why are you... The boy's are you furious. Doing this to me He's again. furious. A microphone call, just sit tight. He can't even come get her. Yeah. She been going through a lot. The officer spoke to the homeowners and they're not gonna press charges. Good. I won't either. Okay, then. So, we're good to go. You ready? Marie, you want to go home? You don't want to go home, bro. The boy Hank tweaking her out. Damn, she don't want to go home. That's crazy. <laughs> she ain't had to cry like that, though. That's the ugly cry. She hurting, bro. Cry like that. You don't care who around. What do you think you hurt? Yes, it's Skylar White calling for Saul Goodman, please. Yes, it is important. It ain't important. I ain't point to that boy. You gonna flood his shit? <sighs> Sorry. Same as before. You cannot shut me down. You cannot do this. Mr. Wallace, I've checked your wastewater inside and out. More contaminants. Ammonia, acetone, benzene. Oh, shit. Say he's exposing people to that. No, your soap is not the issue. It's your filtration system. But if you're leaching into the groundwater, which is looking like a real possibility here, you're gonna need to replace your system entirely. We can give you a list of approved vendors. If you get going immediately, your downtime shouldn't be any more than four or five weeks. Uh, we will be extra careful 
and uh, clean. No more pollution. Okay? Yes? No, I'm sorry. And that's why somebody saw her. Yeah. What laws did I break? What laws? Several. Tell me exact specific laws or I refuse. Specific. Right now. The New Mexico Hazardous Waste Act of 1978, whenever the disposal of solid waste or hazardous waste presents an imminent or substantial endangerment, not more than $5,000 each day in which the violation occurs. He's finessing. Under the Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976, U.S. Code Title 15. You could just say random ass numbers and people will believe you because they don't know what that is. Was that specific enough for you? Ah, Skylenberg. <laughs> Wattenberg, Skylenberg, Susanberg. I'm leaving the rice pudding. I'm not hungry, Marie. So I don't eat it. She's starting to uh, starting not put up with that shit yeah. no more. All right, Hank, you'll be in that room stanking it up by yourself. Fucking with Marie. Hey, Marie, how you doing? I'm here for Hank, actually. You're so sweet. Hank will be thrilled. Hank probably not going to want him to see him like that. Well, that's going to that's gonna fix him up a bit. Boy said, I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm hungry, but I'm eating. What now? Should you rob a bank? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Can't complain, you know. Every day a little better. Handsome was never the hard part. <laughs> you ugly. <laughs> Thanks again for the other day, you know. this It's been hard on her. So, rock collecting? Minerals. They're minerals. I'm playing with them. She gonna give him something to do from home. Actually, I could use your help on something. Homicide, possibly drug related. What am I, Ironside? <laughs> no, but you're a drug cop who knows a local talent. And you're a pal I just did a favor for, so let me pick your brain a sec. You ever come across a guy by the name of Gail Baddeker? Someone came along and shot him in the face. It's gonna see that lab, so. No signs of robbery. Okay, so uh, it's a crime of passion. We found a notebook at his place. I made a copy for you in case you're interested. Looks like it pertains to some kind of methamphetamine super lab. It's filled with scientific formulas and chemical purchase lists, drawings, pages and pages of this stuff. I wonder if you might take a look. He a good dude for doing this. I thought your expertise could be useful here. I'm lying here like uh, third base. Once he says it's about that blue, he gonna be right on it. Want my advice? You take this to Steve Gomez. I give this to Steve Gomez, and all of a sudden it becomes a DEA case. What good's that do me? Tell me what I got here. I'd really appreciate it. He did you a favor. He ain't got no choice. You take it easy. That's what I do. <laughs> you grab that. He got no fucking uh, sky zone so socks on. Shit with a grip at the bottom. Can't reach that shit, though. Nah, he got his shit over there. Three, seven, nine, and he says no. He got Gail's lab notes. It's over. Nah. What Holly over there is talking about? He in the crib? Well, it was a good try. Still didn't do that, man. He gonna, he gonna end up going to the authority saying that they harassing him. Nail salon sounded promising. What do you think? I think we wait. He'll call. <clears throat> Just wait. Just wait. He gonna call. Mm-hmm. It was a good idea. It was a great idea, but it didn't work. I'm gonna touch so the shoulder. Simply chalk it up as a learning. Oh, hello, Mr. Wallenitz. Am I still interested? Well, I, I think that depends. 879 was the original offer, but that seems high to me now because you're an unpleasant person, Mr. Volinitz. You were rude to me and disrespectful towards my husband. And furthermore, I've met with quite a number of sellers and the market seems much softer than I thought. 800. You heard him? Mm -hmm. Well, I understand that you're disappointed, but that is my final offer. I'm sorry we couldn't make it work. Goodbye. He gonna call back. What are you doing? I'm negotiating because I want to pay less. Oh, no. Who cares? Do you know how much I make in a day? Nah. Oh. Boys pulled that car. Too far with it. You're calling him names? I didn't call him names. Oh. I said he was unpleasant. Well, he's not calling you back. Okay, I'm gonna call Saul. No. What? No, just... What for? That shit ring, make it look like you're not really that fiend out for it. Like you really standing on business. No, it's 
really paying attention to where these things are. I mean, there's got to be thousands of them all over the world. Right in my man, Jesse Crib. We're throwing money at him? Trying to throw it in his mouth. Fat boy. Bro, I know it's stink in there. And if the fence posts are stuck, I'm taking that shit up. Really deep with the cement, way down inside the ground. Bro, they gonna end up doing something now. Wait, showing all that money around those fiends? Money! <laughs> this shit's better be ones and fives. Are them dubs, fifties, or hundreds? He's crazy. Somebody will kill somebody over there. He just needed some noise. It's too quiet. That's police? Nah, that's the board I work for Gus. You're watching his crib. Why my man Flynn at? See my man in a minute. In the crib all day with my man Flynn out. Two clean cars and clean money. You're here. Yeah. That boy lives moving up, yo. We got a car wash with a little that boy acting a little different. I told you we'd get it. Did you? Mm hmm It was really great work. Bonnie and Clyde and shit? The boy Ted coming back tomorrow. Well, yes, he found the guy, but I told him what to do and what to say. Yeah, you're right. That's the hard part. But yes, Saul was uh, finally useful. <laughs> this shit about to fall through. It is. Real bad. Watch. Truly amazing. It is. Well, it better be. $320 a bottle. How did you pay for it? Cash. I paid cash. No, I'm, I'm asking how did you, Walter White, an unemployed school teacher, pay for it? How, how do you explain it? We're broke, remember? <sighs> Because on paper, we have no money. You are completely overreacting. Well, I'm not apologizing for wanting to celebrate in some small way. I bought one bottle of champagne. One single bottle. Okay, I mean, look at Watergate. One one little piece what? of duct tape left on oh a my door God. brought down the President of the oh, United States. What? I, I'm Nixon? Come on, bro. You ruined in a moment, but she's facts, though. Hey, one little mistake, one slip-up in our story. That could ruin us. I'm gonna walk junior. Here to the streets. I don't even want to drink no more. Gotta destroy the evidence. You right? Let me let me drink out real quick. It's like a big sip. <laughs> Whether it's from any sort of signage, but especially that Cheeto. See, got the puffs. Yo, the hot Cheeto puffs way better than the country. Yeah, I'm bugging out. You know, you know. We have a motion and a second on the floor to grant I'll grab one of them tomorrow. And a motion and a second by Councilor Cook. Any questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by... This might lead them on the trail walk because it's so chemically defined. All those in favor, the only a chemist signify. can know that stuff. Or he might ask Walt for some help. That's what I think. You stink. All right, y'all, that was the end of episode three, season four of Breaking Bad. They celebrating. That boy Hank is on the case now. It's going to be some things that Hank can lead that department onto that might, you know, scratch the surface for certain things. Like I was telling Swizz before the camera turned back on, I was saying this was the last person they went on the case because Hank was getting closer and closer, you know, making that big break on gus and well heisenberg and his operation so with hank back dialed in it's gonna get scary skylar and walt are now basically in business together they're working together uh i think their relationship might be mended from doing this so we'll we'll see how that turns out but like i said during the reaction that boy ted about to pop back out so i think things are definitely gonna fall through with her forcing this business transaction like Saul's been saying, like she she knows what she's talking about. Um, she's good on like that business side, but when it comes to but when it comes to running the operation and being discreet, I think she knows some details. But Saul has been through this business and he knows what he, and he knows the right things to do. He's tried this stuff out. That's why he's been doing so much to lean on his nail salon. It's like, bro, we got people that we can trust in there that we know aren't going to say anything. Bogdan doesn't even like Walt, doesn't like Skyler. Like Walt was saying, you were being an asshole to him, calling him names and shit. 
he's not gonna forget that so if anything ever pops up to where he could possibly have this shit stripped from them he's gonna take that chance and then he can possibly buy his business back for way less than what um he sold it for but jesse i don't know what's going on with him man it's only a matter of time before something bad happened in that house I know it's stinking there, like I said, them same people been in there for, feel like a week now that they all been in there. And it has to have been a couple days because Skinny and Badger haven't even came back and they said they were gonna take a couple days. So, he's in Jesse's team. gotta figure out what's going on with him. If you need to talk to somebody, go talk to somebody and start going back to those uh, classes. Uh, we don't even know if Andrea is still there anymore. She probably left for her son. So a brand new beginning, he got to stop using like he has been. Cause like I was saying there in the beginning, you could tell scratching more, he's more jittery, sniffing a lot more, he can't sit still. So it's a lot that he went through. It's a lot that he's got to emotionally, you know me, deal with, with that whole situation of killing Gail. But if he wants to like continue doing what he's doing, he's going to have to get over that at some point, or just be able to go out into society and you know what I mean? Be able to hold himself down. We saw that guy waiting outside of his house, so they've been watching him. Again, this is just fuel to the fire for Gus, because he didn't like Jesse anyway, or he didn't want him part of the whole process, and Walt kind of pushed it upon him. Uh, with the whole Scarlet situation, she did finesse that. It was good that she finessed it the way that she did, but in the opposite fashion. What I think is going to happen is he can go to the authorities or somebody and say, based upon how much they're making, they haven't taken out any loans or anything. That they bought that from from 800,000 and then if they get that up and running quickly that means they paid another 200,000 so they paid around 1 million 1.1 1.2 million dollars uh based upon that whole water situation so um he's definitely gonna go to the authorities and say something there was no ties to the nail salon prior besides somebody just outright buying it been getting their nails and feet done in there for the free you know what I mean? They could have had a business up and running ASAP. So we're just going to have to see how this all play out. But if you enjoyed our action, make sure you like this video, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you know if I drop these videos. Thank y'all for the love and support, man. We appreciate y'all. We're going to be cranking these videos out for y'all, pushing out this content. Stay tuned. Got a lot coming, but until the next video. The kids react.